What's up, guys? We're back for another episode of the Big Cat Chat Podcast. Well, well, we're recording this a lot later than we normally do, but again, another upgrade. You guys can see my mic more now because I have an arm that just moves around freely. How very nice. Um, how you doing, Sean? I'm doing fine. How about you? I need to turn your audio up a little bit. You sound a bit quiet. Maybe I, maybe I was talking quietly. I don't know. Maybe. Anyways... But hope you guys are doing good. We're back for another episode. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just get to it. So we'll just talk about a couple NFL things off to start things off. Uh, Giants pass rusher Kayvon Thibodeau sprained his MCL. Uh, his ACL stayed intact, but he's out about three weeks, which that's unfortunate. Um, a lot of people call it a dirty hit. It's not a dirty hit. It's just Kayvon played it wrong, plus just the type of block is kind of eh. it's probably a little sus to do in a preseason game but yeah i get it you're trying to make a roster the guy was doing the guy was doing what he was told to do and cave on yeah. cave on was expecting something else so he played it differently than he would have if he knew what the block was coming all things considered uh they escaped pretty decently could have been a season yeah. ending yeah they got lucky but what they didn't get lucky with is uh darian beavers he tore his acl and uh Rip. as of just about an hour ago, Colin Johnson, former Jaguar, tore his Achilles. The Giants are dropping like flies yet again. This happened to them last year. Yep. They lost a couple of other rookies, too, to injury. It's crazy. Um, the Panthers made it official. Baker Mayfield is their starting quarterback. Everyone knew that was going to happen. Yep. Uh, he was playing better in preseason and um, training camp. He was traded for, so of course they were going to sign him. Could you hear that thunder? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I'm in Rainsville. You know how it is. Rains every damn day here. I yeah. can't catch a break. But, yeah, to, we're trying to act surprised about Baker Mayfield, but are we really? No. I'm not. He's the better player by far. He's the better player. He's shown more potential. Even in his bad years, he's better than Sam Darnold. So... That's that's really all there is to that. But now that we got that out of the way, guess what, guys? We got another guest. This time Who it's could it be? We don't have a two a two guest episode this time. We're, that that was a special return episode. But yeah. we do have another guest, and I'm gonna let Sean send you right into that. Uh, we got probably one of the I would say probably one of the bigger content creators as far as Jaguars goes. Uh. The legend himself, UCF Jaguar, is coming on. Yes, sir. I think he's actually the biggest on YouTube, at least. But Probably, yeah. Uh... Anyways, we're going to go ahead and send you guys straight into that. Uh, it's not going to be like an interview. It's just going to be a guest, just like Jordan and John were. So we'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we're back, and UCF Jaguar is with us. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. How are you guys doing? Great. I'm doing pretty well, pretty well. This is the latest we've recorded a podcast, so it's interesting. I'm a late night guy, so. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So we'll go ahead and start off with, I was going to start off talking about Jag Steelers, but I guess we can go ahead and get out of the way some of the guys we've cut. We cut Bo, I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Was it's, like it, Bo, right? it's like Ben Shaw. Ben Shaw, that makes sense. Uh, we cut Shabari Davis, podcast yeah. legend, oh, end of an man. era. R.I.P. Uh, we you know, ironically tight. enough, I had uh, I had Colin Johnson on my channel a year ago, and yeah, he just yeah. tore his ACL today. So but yeah, I watched. Uh, that. It's not a good week for any of us guys. No. Yeah, we just talked about that actually. Like before we got you on here, we talked about him tearing his ACL. The what's it called? The Giants. They're dropping like flies. It's very unfortunate. Yeah, um, you know, some teams just go through that, man. Like last year, it was the Ravens. Um, now it looks like the Giants are going through it a little bit. Sometimes these teams just catch it hey, and it doesn't go away. We've paid our dues, too. We've had our years. Yeah. 2008 was a bad one. Yeah. The whole old line died. And we have first-round picks. I mean, Dante Fowler Jr., yep. ACL, ETN last year. Even, like, Devin Lloyd to a small extent. He's yep. missed, like, all of practices. He just got back, I guess, recently. But, you know, we've had our fair share of first-round hits. Yep. Yeah, I mean, the Giants last year, they had lost almost their entire receiving core to injury, so they can't catch a break. 
we also cut tight end Grayson Gunter. Don't know who that is. Uh, we cut outside linebacker Wyatt Ray. Uh, we unironically brought him back and then cut him again. So he's <laughs> we we signed him, cut him, signed him, cut him, and who knows? Maybe we'll sign him again. Who knows? Uh, we cut Luan Winningham. That was probably the most surprising of the cuts thus far. It was a little surprising. Like I didn't expect him to make the final roster or anything, but like maybe a practice squad stash. But they just for how good he was doing in practice, they didn't really feature him in the games at all. Yeah, he was stuck as like wide receiver ten on the depth chart every single time. Yeah, and that's the thing. We haven't seen like any I mean, the only reason we know about Winningham is just because the local media is kind of telling us about him. We didn't see anything right. in preseason. It's been kind of like boring this preseason when it comes to like you know, guys emerging and getting onto the roster. I mean, we've had, like, Alan Hearns and Keelan Cole really explode in the past, but, I mean, we haven't, we really haven't had much at all outside of, like, you know, I don't know, maybe some decent linebacker play. It's been kind Deshaun of... Deshaun Dixon, bro. Yeah. But is that a, but is that, is that a good thing, you think, probably, for the, like, I mean, usually we're, like, talking about, wow, this undrafted free agent could actually start on our team. Now we're like, oh, this is kind of Andrew. boring because these guys are not even going to make a damn roster spot. Well, I mean, last year, like, Cotton was like, oh, this guy's interesting. This guy's yeah. kind of all over the place. So then this year, it's like, it's kind of like Tim Jones this year, but still, yeah. it's like, okay, Tim Jones has made a couple of plays, but I'm not sitting here. You know, I'm not going to be, like, mad at what they – or probably when they wind up cutting him. It's just, right. you know, another, another guy. I made money when uh, we cut Jeff Cotton because someone was so confident he was going to make the roster that – we bet lunch, so I got free lunch. There you go. He came yeah. back, so it's not like I'm preying on his downfall. He got signed back again. No well, wide receivers can be tough because they can go out there and they can be getting all these good receptions, getting yardage, but if they can't block downfield or play special teams, can't contribute on special teams, yep. yeah, it's like, okay, well, you know, only one-third of your game is good. I think that's why Winningham got cut. I'm not sure if he was doing anything on special teams. He's more of like a big-body guy, not really fast. Whereas, like, Kevin Austin can probably contribute in that aspect, but dude's got, like, I don't know, bricks for hands. He, like, threw that ball. He, like, caught it and threw it. It was retarded. I don't know. It Honestly, it's probably good that Kevin Austin isn't doing very good because you know no one's going to swipe him, like, right. off the practice squad. So maybe you get a year of development. Because even with him, like, if he was going off in the preseason – it, he, he's never played special teams in his life before this year. Right. So, like, he's still got a super outside chance of making a roster from that standpoint. So now it feels like you could probably hide him on a practice squad for a year and bring him back next year. Yep. Yeah, that drop was absolutely comical. <laughs> I was, like, half watching, and I thought, I was like, oh, Kevin Austin made a play, and then he threw it away. Dude, I was like, yo, EJ Perry is dealing right now, dog. And then... Dude caught the ball and just like threw it. I was like, "What the hell?" And then yeah, that did. was like the that was like the one interesting part of preseason when it comes to like the backups. It was like, "Oh, look mm -hmm. at this drive. We're putting something together." Then, no thanks. <laughs> and then he did put, that, put, and then EJ Perry threw that interception off his back foot that almost went for a touchdown. Yeah, but yeah. I think I think that was a blessing in disguise because I wonder if he didn't throw that, and if Ryan Santoso doesn't miss that field goal, he goes two for three, and maybe he's still on the roster. True. I don't. I don't know, but but you know, like you know, from the first game, the first time you saw him, it's like, dude, this guy, this guy can't stick. Yeah. Uh, jo Josiah and I didn't have him making the fifty-three anyway. I think I don't know how the new kids gonna do, but I think uh, we're both eyeing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers competition. Uh, Ryan suck up and uh, Jose Borregales, whoever gets cut from that, we should probably think about getting. Yeah, I mean, we have first waiver priority, so you know, we can go out do that. I know Eddie Pinheiro got cut. I mean, yeah. I don't know why we don't have I'd bring him. Guys. I'd bring him in, too. I mean, I don't... So bring in everybody as much as you can. Yeah. I mean, have a real... I mean, that's the cool thing about... It's tough with competitions, but a kicking position, you can really have a true competition yeah. at that spot when it comes... Because that's a strict, like, data position right there. Like, it's not... You know, so many positions can be subjective. Like, if you're a linebacker, it just really every position in football can be pretty subjective outside of, like, kicker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that leads us perfectly into what we were just kind of talking about. But the Jags signed kicker James McCourt, which I th his stats weren't that impressive. But apparently he set a record at, was it Indiana? Where was it? Illinois. Illinois, Illinois, yeah. Illinois for the most 50-plus yard kicks made in a season. But then he also only had like 71% hit rate. So, Well, last year so he had like a little bit better, but... I don't know. I don't think, like I said, 
the whole time, I really don't care what we do at kicker right now because I'm literally just waiting for who gets cut between Jose Borgales and Ryan Suckup because uh, Borgales was almost automatic at Miami and he's been almost automatic in uh, camp for the Buccaneers and Suckup is Suckup. So, yeah, the only caveat is like, what if a team wants to jump us in a waiver party and throws like a fifth or sixth round pick at a kicker? That's the only. Because I know, I know. Back in the day, the Vikings did that for the Ravens kicker. Um, the the backup dude got. Oh punched. yeah, uh, what was his name? Kyer Vedvik. Yeah, yeah. Like they, and, and that actually turned out to be terrible for the Vikings because he was a, uh, I don't know, like he, he was sucked. a different kicker when he got. <laughs> it's weird these kickers, man. You put them in different environments, and they can be either good or terrible. And we saw Josh Lambeau great here, terrible for the Chargers. You saw, yeah. you know, Jason Myers terrible here, good for like Seattle and. And the New York Jets, it's just, it's a really weird position. Yep. Yeah, I just hope it works out. But uh, we <laughs> we signed Jake Luton back, by the way, uh, yeah. to, all our, to all our dismay. I mean, I get it, but, like, I don't get it at the same time. I get they probably brought him back because they're probably just going to play him and EJ Perry the whole game. But, like, I would just have given EJ Perry the whole game. Yeah. And if he gets hurt, throw Chenault in there at quarterback. I don't know, man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, at this point, there's very few people who really know quarterbacks who know the playbook. So it's like, right. okay, he can go in there and at least get guys lined up. Yeah. He won't be able to throw it to them, but he can get them lined up. I think they're doing him a favor, letting him try to get another game to put some good film out there to get picked up by somebody else. They should just have Jake Luton drop back and just throw bombs. Because That's what he, I would do. He has, That's he what has I would a do. He has a huge <laughs> arm. It's just his accuracy is terrible. So just, And he doesn't throw a touch at all. Yeah. So just drop back and just – chuck it in the air be like hey man we're gonna have tim cotton or jeff cotton tim jones and uh kevin austin out there just running street patterns all day yeah i mean <laughs> if, if they're playing like a cover one just freaking lob it to somebody <laughs> who has yeah. I don't, like whoever the whoever the fastest on the field is just lob it and see if we can get because we haven't had many like you know big plays outside of like when tim jones broke the tackle like we haven't had a lot yeah. super downfield yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's all he's good for is just throwing absolute lasers, whether it's a positive laser or negative laser. I don't know. But the Jags, they uh, traded. They did a trade. Uh, the Packer, They traded with the Packers for offensive line Cole Van Lanen. I think I said that right. Uh, a Green Bay native. He It was for a seventh-round pick, so it's negligible. Whether You, uh, there's, you can't dislike it because it's a seventh-round seventh round pick. And he's playing with the second team, and yeah. if he takes Will yeah. Richardson's job, count me in. Yeah, I mean, I, it'll be concerning if he starts week one because it's like, man, like, that's what our left guard position is worth right now. They think a seventh rounder can perform better than what the Jaguars currently have. I don't know. It's uh, It'll be interesting to see if he does wind up getting starter reps or if he's, like, just a true depth kind of piece. Well, it's weird because he was getting starter reps with Green Bay because they had some guys out. Then they brought those guys back, so we traded for him. He has tackle flexibility because he played tackle in college. Um, he was getting left guard reps with Green Bay. He's getting second team right guard reps here. So, like, I think he's just a guy that they can move to any position probably. And yeah. that's probably better than having a guy like Will Richardson who sucks everywhere. <laughs> it also – leans on people. <laughs> I hate Will Richardson. <laughs> Uh, it also might be because they what they had, they had Tyler Shatley playing guard. They had him and Bartsch. But now, because the depth at center was so bad, they moved Shatley back to strictly backup center. So they needed another backup guard. Yep. So it's probably yeah. all of that combined. I mean, everybody complained about depth over the preseason. I mean, they definitely got their wish with this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean... Uh... the. The depth is the depth isn't great when they're all playing together, but I think we have plenty of pieces, at least defensively, that if they spot start or spot play, they'll be fine. Anytime yeah. I hear somebody say you got your wish, I just think of Andrew Winger's dad on Twitter. <laughs> he tweeted, "You you, you got y'all got your wish." And yeah, hey, he's balling now. <laughs> I know, right? Respect Dewey. I mean, I just know with me, it's like okay, like yeah, I know if we have Clay Brooks and Herndon and. You know, some of our backups in there, yeah, we're not going to be that great. I mean, it's, right. just, it's just how we are. I mean, right. we're we're very, like, top-heavy at this point, and, you know, we're kind of thin right now. And if the Jaguars are going to do great things, I mean, number one is they're going to have to avoid the injury bug. Um, that's really priority number one. And then, you know, the list kind of goes from there. Yep. 
All right. So what we're going to do now is since roster cuts are on the 30th, so our next podcast will be after that, we're going to do roster predictions, but off the Ooh. dome. So I'm just going to go by player, and you're going to say if you think they're going to get cut or if they're going to make the roster. Okay. We're going to start with cornerbacks. Uh, it's going. Sean will give his first, UCF, and then I'll give my uh, opinion third. Okay. So we're going to start Monteric Brown. Practice squad. I think he'll stay on. I think he's going to make it too. <clears throat> Tyson Campbell. Oh, yeah. Cut. No, I'm just kidding. He's making it. <laughs> Yeah, he's making it. Chris Claybrooks. Chris Claybrooks is an interesting one. Oh man, I, I think I feel like they like him a lot more than the other guys because he plays <laughs> earlier. Than I they feel do. like he's he's like winger. It's he's like winger. It's just winger is actually decent at times. Just, Claybrooks just finds a way team. to stick. Yeah, yeah it's because he he's good on special teams, teams. Man, so I think he makes it. Well, I mean, who's who who catches punts if Jamal Agnew's out? Because I know it's not Lavisca Chanel. Christian Kirk, I think, is uh, one with yeah. the one guy they had listed back there on the depth chart. Yes, yeah, I don't know if they're gonna want. I, well, I wouldn't put him back there. Hell no. <laughs> well, well, that's the thing because I don't think the Jag staff would either. So it's like, okay, Jamal Agnew's out. I can be Clay Brooks. It's and they probably... they tried Chenault there, and he just no, dropped no. the first one. Yeah. Chenault has. I mean, we'll probably get into him later, but I mean, well, yeah, I thought he was that. running with bricks on his feet last game. Um, He's so bad. Yeah, I guess. Uh... <sighs> I, I think they probably keep him just because, yeah, mainly because of special teams and he has experience back there. And um, I'll go with that. Yeah, unfortunately, I think he'll make it because when when they were playing half starters, half um, backups at the end of the half, first half against the Steelers, Clay Brooks and Monteric Brown were out there on the field a lot. So it's, I hate it because he's not good at cornerback, but. Uh, that, he, I mean, that was never the reason why they drafted yeah. him in the first place. He was never drafted to start. Him having to start was very unfortunate, and like I don't think that was the plan at all. Yeah, plus, I think there was a stat. It's like one of those weird special team stats. Like At a certain point last year, he was he was like leading like forced uh, fair catches because he gets downfield so fast. He needs to ch- change his number. 27. That's Rasheed Mathis's number. Rasheed Mathis made sure. the number great. Fournette had it. He was I. But then like this guy's got it. He's a bum. Like We can't have that. All right, anyway, Sha- Shaquille, Shaquille Griffin, I think we can all say um, he's making the roster. I think he's – yeah, he'll make it, man, but I think he might get traded next year. Oh, uh, yeah, contract-wise, I can see that. Contract-wise, and he got cooked by some lacrosse player today in camp. Oh, he did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Maybe, yeah. He, maybe he'll retire like his brother. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's on a team. He's a starter. And, yeah. you know, I guess next year is in question, but he's on a three-year deal, so we'll see. Uh, Gregory, J- oh wait, yeah, Gregory Jr. Practice squad. Yeah, practice squad. Practice squad. He, he's been so far down the depth chart, plus he hasn't really made any plays. So. Trey Herndon, I think he's, he's making, making it. He's making it. Yeah. God, the coaching staff, every coaching staff loves him, so he'll stay on the team. He was so good in 2019 when we traded Ramsey. Yeah. And he's always like great and, and, and tra- they always say he's great in training cam. He's a great guy. And then whenever I see him play, I'm like, dude, this dude is a bum. Well, <laughs> the problem is they, the big, yeah. they, yeah, they line him up. I've said this for like the last three years now. They line him up against big receivers. Bro's five eleven, like a buck ninety at best. He's not yeah. matched up with Chris Claypool. Why would you do that? <laughs> yeah. Like, but I think he makes it. He's not. A, he's not a bad. You could do worse at CB four for sure. Yeah, he's a small and he's not very fast, so it's yeah. He's a nickel. Yeah. Josh Thompson, he's cut out. Practice right. squad. Practice squad. You think he's making the practice squad? He's made some plays. He's going practice squad. Okay. He forced a fumble, I think, on special teams or something like that. I think Xavier Crawford is going to be the one getting that. Uh, I think he's. I think Xavier squad. Crawford's making the roster. Oh, you think Xavier Crawford's making the roster? Yeah. Interesting. I can see it. He's made a lot of play. A lot of plays. Anyway, we skipped UCF. What do you think yeah. about uh? Josh Thompson. Josh Thompson. Yeah, I think he's gone. All right, Xavier Crawford. I think he's at the CB6 for me. Gone. I have him as practice squad. Ben J. Franklin. Or Ben G. Gone. Yeah, I don't know. I only know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> he made plays to start and then disappeared, and Crawford kind of popped up. Uh, Michigan legend Brandon Rusnak. Crashed. Cut. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's cut. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Uh, now le- oh, this is the last corner. Darius Williams is he's he? Fi- he's finally back, right? Yeah, yeah he played. He practiced back. today. Nice. He's, he's yeah, making so, it. There's, there's your slot. Yeah, so he's back. Uh, we have James Robinson's making out there. Devin, I think Lloyd. Devin Lloyd's doing some yep. stuff. So, and then well, they, they got that. The they got the bye so week. Far. Yeah, they got the bye week after uh this, this upcoming yep. game too. Yep. So we're getting. I don't there. even think anyone's playing. So I think we're we're pretty good in the yeah. clear. Yeah, we're good there. All right, this, knock on this, wood. <laughs> this one's a special one for the podcast. Uh, Deshaun Dixon. Yes, he's making it, folks. Ah, damn it! I want him to make the team so freaking bad, dude. I just don't think they're gonna do it. So if I'm doing this unbiased practice squad, biased, he's taking Chase on spot. <laughs> Sean, I think your practice squad is officially full now. <laughs> yeah, got, you have like everybody on the practice squad. That's four people. We got, we got a whole practice squad of cornerbacks. That's four <laughs> people, man. <laughs> yeah, I I what is, practice squad's twelve people or to expand it. It's like fourteen now or something like that. Oh, I thought it was sixteen or sixteen. Yeah, it could be. I think they keep making it bigger, but they yeah, made it bigger because of too. COVID. Yeah, I, so. I put him on the practice squad. Yeah, he's getting a roster spot from me. I don't care. Um, Josh Allen making it, making it. Caleb yeah. on Chase on making it. Unfortunately, yeah, he'll make it. It depends on how he plays this game because they're giving him every single opportunity possible. They're not gonna. They have no to depth. <laughs> they're not gonna cut him <laughs> unless they unless someone somewhere cuts somebody else. And we pick him up, and then they cut him. But, like, I don't see him getting cut. He's just such a bad pass rusher. He's he not a pass, be a pass rusher. He's an well, off-ball linebacker. He'll, and he'll be in position to make a play, and he just doesn't know what to do. He's an off-ball linebacker. Let's just call it what it is. He's not a, he shouldn't be an edge rusher. He made one nice play last game. Yeah, like, in space as an off-ball linebacker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was that one play against uh, Mitch Trubisky where basically everybody, it felt like, missed the tackle. But yeah, he, he got was right there. He got he, owned he by the him up. He got owned by the right tackle and then had to run around the offensive line to like clean it up and then wrapped him up fully and just got thrown off. What was that year? Was it last year or the year before that where he had that great play on like a wheel route by the running back? He was that on ten- his ass off the whole way that, down. That Tennessee game, he had the should have been pick, but it got flagged back by somebody else. Right. He had the sack, one of his only two career sacks, just an FYI. Uh, he got a sack there, and he had that amazing play on the wheel route where they called him for pass interference, but he didn't it pass wasn't. interfere. Yeah, so like I said, he should be an off-ball linebacker and probably not in the 3-4, probably a 4-3, but, you know, it is what it is. Jameer Jones. I think he's... I think he's making it, man. They have him over Deshaun Dixon in the, in the depth chart every week, and it makes me angry. I think he's making it. He actually has flashed a little bit on in preseason. Yeah, he's probably going to make it. Yeah, this will be the big one to look out for. I mean, this is, I think, of all things, this is the biggest, uh, you know, biggest probably dark horse to make the roster. But I guess at the moment I'll say no. Israel Antoine, I think he's making it. Yeah, I don't think, I think, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think the Jaguars keep that many linebackers. This is a defensive line. He's a a D-tackle. Yeah, he's a D-tackle. Oh, D tackle. Oh shit! Yeah, you, you forgot that you forgot to say you moved up. Oh, yeah, the, uh, yeah. We, we moved on to D tackle. Ant- okay. Antoine and Tufile have been raved about recently. Yeah, yeah. I think he makes it. They have like no D like their D tackle room is very small. Yeah, he probably makes it. Adam Gotsis. He yes. Has, has he made that many plays? I know he's making it, but he's and he's going to be solid. But has he made that many plays? And um... I mean, he doesn't really. He's not a guy that he really stands out, but he's like solid. Like he doesn't really get like he doesn't give up anything. I've seen him make a couple tackles. Yeah, he's he's good in the run game for sure. Arden Key is obviously making yeah, it. Arden Key yeah. could go for nine plus sacks this year. Yeah, he could be a double digit sack guy. I mean, every game yeah. he's getting sacks and pressure. Yep. Every you game mean, he abs- it's not even like he just beats the offensive lineman. He obliterates them. Yep. He's making yeah. it for sure. Roy Robertson Harris yeah, has looked pretty good. It. He's yep. made he's some plays. It. Smoot looks yep. really improved. Uh, I don't know how to say this name. Azoya Alufohai? Uh, I don't know. I didn't even know he existed, so I'm saying no. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's not no. making it. Folarunzo Fatukasi? Yes. He's making it. Oh, yeah. He's, a uh, he, he's healthy, right? They're yeah. holding him out. They, he didn't practice today because of the injury he had, but I don't think it's anything serious. I think they're just being precautionary with it. Oh, okay, fair enough. 
Uh, Jay Tufile is making yes, it. They've raved it. about him. Yeah. You know, two Chick Fil A's podcast legend. Yep. Raekwon Williams. I forgot we signed him. No, no he's he's not making it. No. Wes Martin. We we he's, already he's, cut him. He's gone. He's yeah. already cut. Why is he on this roster? Uh, Brandon Scherf, elite. So he's making it. So we're, I guess we're on the O line now. Yep. Uh, <laughs> now we're on the kickers. It, it's weird. I'm not. I don't have. I'm using the Jags website, so I'm just going. You just in that use order, the depth chart, my G. I don't. I couldn't find the depth chart. You got to. You got to click the position. And yeah, that's what I did. Position. The position. Oh, okay. It's just having them in weird order. That's weird. But yeah. Uh. That that was guards. There was only. It only showed two guards. Do we and only have? Do we? No, we do we Barch, only have two got, true guards? Barch is the guard. True. I mean, they, pro they probably have them labeled as like interior offensive linemen on the site. Yeah. Yeah, kickers. Ryan Santoso already got cut. This is not updated. It shows James McCourt being signed, but not Ryan Santoso being cut. Interesting. Uh, I don't think either of them are making the roster because one already didn't. Now we're on to off-ball linebackers. I didn't forget to update you guys this time. Tyrell Adams. No. No. Yeah, he's a no for me. Devin Lloyd. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not keeping count of who the hell's making a roster. So I have I'm no not idea. <laughs> so pa Patrick is watching this. He can count and see how many players we have making the yeah. roster. Sean's got count. 72 players on his practice squad. <laughs> <laughs> Grant Morgan, who apparently was one of the better singers, per uh, Deshaun Dixon. No, no. He's not making practice, practice squad. Maybe I don't even know he's your rookie. He's a, he's an undrafted rookie. Sure, maybe practice squad. Uh, Chad Muma. He's, yep. Chad Mooma's looked improved. That first game, he showed like potential, but he was like bouncing off every tackle. But Yo, bro hit, the, really bro hit the weight room and the film room heavy and came back the next two games and was balling. Yeah, but the good thing about Chad Mooma that game, he was still like in position and you could tell yeah. like he was. Yeah, he was around the ball at all times. Yeah. yeah. And it like one just... of them, like everyone's like, oh my God, he got stiff arm, but he got stiff arm, but literally led to him getting tackled at the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Like, it slowed him. It wasn't like you got. It wasn't like a Derrick Henry versus AJ Boye stiff arm where like, oh you yeah, know, he just runs through the sideline. It was like okay, he got uh, stiff arm here, but he bounces out and got tackled by I think Quarterman. The PTSD is hitting. <laughs> Never again. A ninety-nine yard run. <laughs> Foyasade Aluakan is yes. making it. Shaquille Quarterman is probably going to make it. He's, um, they've always rolled him out there. It's ah, like damn. him and Muma are always out there. The yeah, that's the thing. He's getting so many reps at starter. I know. Like, he they, he's not any. They're giving him way too many valuable. I just don't reps. like him. He runs like in him mud. Either. He's so slow. But yeah, I guess he makes it. But he's I, from I Oak they, Leaf, so I have a little. I wish bit they'd bias, find somebody but, else. Yeah. Chappelle Russell. They seem to like him. That's they an feature interesting it. one. They feature him in a lot of videos on the on the social media page too. He's number fifty three. Yeah. Yeah, they feature him a lot in the videos. So, um, he played pretty good the first game, the Hall of Fame game. God, I don't know how many how many linebackers are we keeping, guys. Uh, we've <laughs> kept all. We've cut Tyrell Adams and Grant Morgan, and we've kept one, two, three, four. I think we've kept four. Okay, we'll keep them. We gotta we'll rush through this one, and then we gotta. Kick up yeah. the next, a, new, a new meeting. All right. Uh, Ross Matisic, the only line snapper he's making. Yeah. It. Oh, yeah, it has Ben Barks listed as O line. Interesting. He's making it. Nick Ford. Sean was talking about Nick Ford uh, twi on Twitter. Um, I don't think he makes it now because of the trade. Yeah, yeah the sucks. O line group seems like it's pretty solidified. Yeah. Luke Fortner is starting. Walker Little is probably going to start next year unless Jawan Taylor does something. Casey McDermott. I actually don't think Casey McDermott's making the roster because I me either. He's been benched like six times during training camp for missing snaps. Yeah. Yeah. And they just got another guy because I mean they they he's a third string center and there is no third string center. Yeah. On the roster. Uh yep. Will Richardson. Uh, uh cut. Apparently if, he was back out there today, but he didn't practice. Um I thought he might have gone. I thought he might have been, I thought he might have been one of those like IR, you know. Early IRs, you get it out of the way because he got hurt. Yeah. Uh, I think he might get cut. Paul Richardson. He gave up three sacks in that one game. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think, <laughs> I think, I, th I think he probably gets put on the IR. But then he's also on a contract year. He's like on a yeah. one-year deal, so it's not like. Yeah. I don't know. Never forget when we had Will Richardson and AJ Can uh, competing for a starting spot. Goodness. 
Cam Robinson is starting. Tyler yep. Shatley is the backup center. Yep. Juwan Taylor might start at right tackle. Yep. Cole Van Lanen is probably making the roster because we just traded for him. Yep. Uh, Daryl Williams, cut. Nope. Rashad Berry is an outside linebacker, cut. Yep. Uh, yeah. Trayvon Walker is getting cut. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Coy Cronk. Legendary <laughs> name, but not making that it. That is a cool name. Uh, Badare Traore. He's, he's not making speed. He's been hurt the whole damn camp. Yeah, no. Logan Cook is making it, obviously. Oh, yep. yeah. CJ Beathard is the backup, and I, I like him as a backup. I think he's an underrated backup. He's decent. Yeah. He suck. He's not great in practice, but he's always solid in games to me. But He's got a good arm. Trevor Lawrence is a fringe, fringe roster player, in my opinion. <laughs> he's... Jags only keep two quarterbacks, in my opinion. Yep. He's... Yeah. Trevor Lawrence is making it. So EJ Perry, Perry. I don't think EJ practice Perry squad. is making it. No. That'll be squad. practice squad. Yeah, or Raquel Armstead. Don't think he's making it. Uh, if you don't think we keep four, or you think we keep Sergeant over him? I just, I, I don't or, think I mean, Armstead's that good. I don't know if he doesn't make it. Um, I think he could make it, but I think we could also pick up somebody on waivers and then cut him. Yeah, I think this could be a waiver spot too. Yeah, I don't know. Snoop Connors isn't very. Uh, Snoop Connor will make the roster, but yeah. I don't know. He hasn't been super impressive to me. He's been pretty decent, but I mean, he's only, playing with the back of offensive line. People. It's yeah. also only three running backs. You need I probably need to carry four. So you I don't think Sargent makes it. I think Armstead sticks until we probably claim somebody on Weavers. Travis Etienne, I'm excited for him this year. Yep, he's making it. James Robinson is finally back. Yep. Makai Sargent could nope. make it, like we were just talking about. I don't think he makes it though. I don't either, but he Neither could. Do I. Uh Andre Cisco has looked great. Yep, he's making it. Rudy Ford is making it, even though I'll never forgive mm. him for that Jets player or Jets play. Oh god, that was for him to, for him effort. to make it for him to make it, he'd have to be the fifth safety. Oh. I don't think he makes it. I think that's... he's he's been playing in the fourth quarter a lot. That's also. true. I think he makes it. I like him on, they like him on it, special but... teams, so he might make it over, but it means they're keeping five safeties probably. I think he has a decent sized contract too. <sighs> yeah. I mean, we'll, let me we'll say we'll contract. say he makes it for now, but he's on thin ice. Rayshon <laughs> Jenkins is making it. He's making it, yeah. Io Oyelola didn't no. even know he was on the roster. He's one of the. He's the international player. Oh, let me get, a, let me get a, an extra yeah. spot for. He's not making it. Daniel Thomas is. Uh, I don't like him, but he's yeah. making it. Jax like saved two million dollars by cutting uh, Rudy Ford. Mm, that might be worth it. Only uh only three hundred thousand dollars of dead cap hit. That might be worth it. Not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah you it's know, an interesting one. You know, I hold, I hold, I hold grudges, especially against uh, when he could have absolutely killed Zach Wilson and just chose to let him run for a touchdown. Uh, He's so hot and cold. He was like on point the during Bills the Bills game. game. Yeah. yeah, we were like, look at this guy on the blitzes, and then I mean, all those, all those guys, they eventually show their ass. Like, yeah. Andrew Wingard is making the roster again, folks. He's making the roster, and he's starting by week eight, bud. He'll be on the team for the next decade. All decade as, Jaguars team. <laughs> as every year, it'll be like the man. I, who was? I think it was AJ Can. It was always like, oh, AJ Can competition, but like he always like won the right guard spot. Yeah. Like every year, this will be this will be that guy where it's like everyone wants to cut him, but always finds a way on the roster. He makes it, and he might get some starting time because I, what this Rayshon Jenkins' style of play is conducive to injuries, so. Now we're going to run through these quickly. Uh, Dan Arnold's making it. Evan Ingram's making it. Luke Farrell's making it. Chris Mant. Well, are we keeping four tight ends again? Yes. Probably. Yeah. Two blocking, two receiving. So yep. uh, all the tight ends are making it except Garrett Prince. Uh, he's trash. Practice squad. Yeah. I can see him on the practice squad since he's a rookie. Uh, Jamal Agnew is back and healthy. That's great. Kevin Austin. Gone. Practice squad. Practice, practice squad. squad. Jeff Cotton. Practice squad again, Ugh. probably. Probably, but he might get snatched. Maybe. Yeah. Willie Johnson, Johnny, uh, Johnny's guy. Another return guy. Um, they could practice squad him, but they might just outright cut him. Yeah, I, th I think he's a it. guy that maybe because we were talking about the return position. I mean, yeah. maybe he's the guy practice squad. If Jamal Agnew gets hurt, they elevate him. He's got like, speed, man. Like it could be like solely for punt returns and like yep. not going to get a snap at wide receiver. So, yep. I, I, mean, I know I like him more than Lavisca Chenault back there. <laughs> Yeah. Zay Jones, uh, obviously. 
There's your X wide receiver. Marvin Jones. Yep, he's making it. Tim, jo- are we having three Jones make the roster? No. Um. It's, it's, coming, it's, it's going to come down to Tim Jones versus Laquan Treadwell for that six spot. What about LaVisca Chenault I think, Chenault I think Treadwell's on the roster. I think it's more LaVisca Chenault yeah. versus Tim Jones. They seem to like Visca for some reason, man. Like the type but, of, they but, talk they talk about him too much, to my opinion, for him to be a maybe they're maybe they're like you know shining him up a little bit to get like a trade maybe. maybe. But if they were <laughs> if they were to keep Laquan Treadwell or LaVisca Chenault, you would think they would if that would if that was the one on one competition, right? You would think I, that Laquan Trevor would win that. I think Trevor because I think Trevor likes him more. Yeah, and also yeah. Trevor's pretty young. You know, he's only like twenty. He just turned twenty seven in the summer. I yeah, thought he was like thirty. Yeah, he looks the part, man. Guy he looks the part. He's just not fast. Yeah, and yeah, he's inconsistent I, with his hands sometimes. Yeah, I'm, I, my roster probably has like sixty guys on it, but I'm going to go ahead and say Lavisca Chenault is not making the roster because. I mean, they, he's done almost nothing in camp. I know he had a good play today, but that's. So you're keeping Tim Jones over Visca? Yeah, because Tim Jones has made more play. They they even tried Chenault as a returner and he dropped his first return. Yeah. God damn. They've tried everything with him. Well, they cut Malcolm Brown, so maybe Lavisca Chenault will be fullback now. True. True. I mean, well, yeah, Lavisca Chenault said, all right, give him on a bubble screen and he'll run one person over, and that's his specialty. (laughs) If he Dude, doesn't drop okay. it, he almost drops the screens half the time. Okay, they dialed up that screen pass to him last game. Did you see how he, like, literally ran straight into the defender? Instead of, yeah. like, the defender was blocked. He could have went to the left and got like Leonard Fournette. He runs into him. He runs into him on purpose, just like, oh, I'm going to knock this guy down. Like, why? It's like Leonard Fournette. <laughs> he also has, like, no ceiling either. It's like, what's the ceiling? Like, he's not really very fast. He's not, like, big. He, he, I mean, he's big, but he's not, like, big. Yeah, it's, he is what he is. It's you know, he has like he has literally <laughs> such a cat ceiling. Yep. Yeah, I mean, he's the only thing he's really good at is just being a bruiser because he doesn't run great routes. He doesn't have astounding hands. Dude, he's hand it, hand it to him, let him go up the middle, man. Just do that. His, I guess his his vision <laughs> is I. But either I mean, way, I, I would literally have some. I really literally, if you're gonna do something on a bubble screen, I'd rather give it to Agnew, somebody yep. who's fast. I can I can count on someone being fast. I can't count on oh, go out there and run people over. It's just not not a safe bet. Yep. Either way, Treadwell was the last guy, and we talked about him. I think he's making it. But either way, thanks for coming on UCF Jaguar. It was fun. Of yes, course. sir. Go Jags. Look yes, at sir. We'll have to get you back on maybe mid-season or something. Yeah, I'll be out here. You guys know where I am. Yes, yes sir. sir. So right, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in a couple seconds. Peace. Yes. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're back. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that with UCF Jaguar, but we're not over yet. We still have a couple things to go over. So first things first, uh, last week we did the uh, spin the wheel for who – was going to pick where in the JTE fantasy draft. So why not review our rosters? Because we did draft on Sunday. So mm-hmm. we'll, bo- we'll both go by position. We won't go entire team. And we'll recap our teams, but we'll go by position. So let's go over your our starting team. My quarterback is a, a Kirk Cousins. I didn't get a quarterback very early. My quarterback is Justin Herbert. I did we, get a quarterback early. We both wanted Justin Herbert. It's just where things fell. I had a pick before he did. Yep. <laughs> uh, my running back uh, one is Javante Williams. My RB one is Jonathan Taylor. Well, yeah, you, you first that pick one. in the draft. So far, your team is two zero zero against mine. Stacked. My RB three. You could, I two? on my bench. RB, R- you RB could, two. Yeah, RB two. You said three, my guy. Uh, my RB two is somebody that. You could. I have other guys that some people might start. You don't have in. to justify it, my my G. We get it. I'm. You understand, but I have to justify it for other people. Damian I, Pierce is my RB two, and I think he'll be a top twenty fantasy back. I don't care they, what y'all think. If but, they if they watch the pod, they already know. Exactly. Uh, uh, my RB two is David Montgomery. I win that one too. You win that one as of right now. Yeah. Um, on on face value. On face value, yes. But a lot of my team, a lot of my team are the guys that I trust my evaluation on that I think are going to do great this year that they might not have as great projections right now. In other words, dog shit. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Fuck you, man. 
Just uh, my wide right. receiver one. You can you can't you can't beat me on this one. I have Cooper Cup. <laughs> Keenan Allen. You win. <laughs> I love how you tried to hype that up. Like maybe I can beat you. <laughs> hey, Keenan Allen used to be like you know he still is PPR beast, dude. Uh, Cameron Sutton is my wide receiver too. Jalen Waddle. Cameron Sutton. I mean, Corton Sutton. Yeah, I have J- Jalen Waddle. I'm taking Sutton. I'm taking Waddle. Mister oh. Hundred Hundred plus catches in his rookie year. That's true, but now he has Tyreek Hill as well. So yeah, but Noodle Arm Two Way ain't throwing that rock. Yeah, they they both can do the same thing. He Tyreek Hill is going to become what Jalen Waddle was. Oh, Waddle's better than Sutton, bro. I was a big Waddle fan. But I know. he's going to ball this year, bro. It's all good. Anyways, all good. Uh, my tight end is Kyle Pitts. You win. I have Pat Fryermuth. Which you didn't start with. That wasn't even your draft. You traded for Fryermuth. Hey, we're just, we're just saying what we got, bro. All right? <laughs> uh, my flex receiver is Christian Kirk. Uh, Mine right – my flex position right now is Juju. But, like, I got options. <laughs> Who do you, yeah, I mean, I got options too, but – yeah, I mean, I, right now it's Juju for now, but like as of who our starters are currently, Christian Kirk or Juju, who do you think is the winner of that? I think Kirk just for PPR. I think Juju has a better quarterback throwing him the ball. It is what it is. But Christian Kirk has a higher but role. Christian Kirk is the wide receiver one on our team. He's going to get the bulk of the targets. So exactly, he got like how many? He got like eight. He got almost ten targets in this first game. It was like I had when well, he only played. Three series. And he was open a lot of them, too. Yeah, if Trevor could aim the ball. I'm just kidding. All right. My defense is Bengals defense, so special teams. Mine is Cowboys. It's probably a push. Who really yeah, did? I'll give that a push. Uh, my kicker is Nick Folk. I took him from you. Uh, you got Chris Boswell, who was really good last year. So, I mean, when it comes to defenses and kickers, it's really just a push. Like, you don't, you yeah. don't really know. It really just depends on the week. Depends on the team, like where if they get in field goal range or not. <laughs> All right, now to go into the bench. My bench, I should preface, I literally do not draft backup quarterbacks. I don't draft backup uh, tight ends, and I don't draft backup kickers or special teams. Yeah, I, I always just pick those up whenever I need them. I didn't draft a backup tight end, but I happen to have one now due to a trade. But I have a backup quarterback too, but it's, it's all good. Yeah, I'm just going to list out my whole bench. Uh, okay. Ramondre Stevenson. Kenneth Walker, George Pickens, Brian Robinson, Michael Carter, Sky Moore, and Jalen Tolbert. And I have Allen Robinson, who could be a flex. I have Jamal Williams, Trevor Lawrence, Zay Jones, Tyler Higby, Robbie Anderson, for now, and Josh Jacobs. Very nice. So Robbie overall... Anderson. Spoiler alert, I have Robbie Anderson... And a waiver claim right now. Very nice. Overall, <laughs> my uh, team is Kirk Cousins, Javante Williams, Damian Pierce, Cooper Cup, Cortland Sutton, Kyle Pitts, Christian Kirk, Bengals, uh, Nick Folk, Ramondre Stevenson, Kenneth Walker, George Pickens, Brian Robinson, Michael Carter, Sky Moore, and Jalen Tolbert. And recap your team as a whole. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Y'all can just rewind. Yeah, you can just rewind. <laughs> so yeah, that's our teams. Uh, give us your thoughts on our teams in the comments. You can call my team dog shit. I think they're going to be good. I think I trust my... Because I think Brian Robinson is going to become the starter for Washington. I think Damian Pierce is going to be a top 20 back. I think Cortland Sutton is going to ball out as the outside receiver that Russell Wilson always likes. I think Kyle Pitts is going for 1,300 to 1,400 plus. I know people think his quarterback stinks. I don't think that really matters. People think... Pe- this is their argument against Kyle Pitts. His quarterback is Marcus Mariota. But then the same people say, Kyle Pitts made Kyle Trask a second-round pick. So if you think Kyle Trask sucks, then Kyle Pitts still balled with him. Where's your logic? Yeah, I don't know. Um, Christian Kirk, we've already – everybody – if you watch this podcast, you know what we think about Christian Kirk. Then my backup, I think George Pickens is going to ball. Kenneth Walker is Kenneth Walker. Ramondre Stevenson's kind of like a – I don't know because I don't really know what the – Patriots are going to do with their starting running back. It could be either or. Uh, it's probably going to be committee. Michael Carter could be good, depending on what they what the um that they do with their guy. Sky Moore, good. Jalen Tolbert, wide receiver two for the Cowboys. All right, that's enough of me trying to justify your team. Yes. All yeah. right, guys. So now we're going to uh, answer a viewer question because viewer question segment is back. Uh, if you guys want to ask us questions, comment them below or uh, reply to us on Twitter because we tweet every single week asking for your questions. 
Yep. This week, we just got a question from Patrick. It's two questions, though, but we'll go ahead and answer them both. First, give us a guy each on offense and defense who isn't currently a one or two in his position that you should will, that you should will, or I think you think will unexpectedly make the 53-man roster. Uh, um, offensively, for, give me uh, Tim Jones, probably. I was going to pick Tim Jones, so I'm going to say offensively, let's go with... I got nothing, Tim Jones. <laughs> defensively, I'm going Deshaun Dixon. Xavier Crawford. Deshaun Dixon, bro. I want Deshaun uh, Dixon to make the roster, no cap. You know how I feel about it. I'm trying to be unbiased here. I don't care. <laughs> Fuck the bias. You know what? Deshaun, Deshaun Dixon. Dixon is Deshaun making Dixon. the roster. Deshaun Dixon to the moon. All right. And the second half of the question is, after last week's great pair of interviews, thank you, uh, who would you most like to get on the show as a guest and why? I mean, personally, I think it'd be cool to get Trevor Lawrence on the podcast. Just well, that's unrealistic. I know. Well, <laughs> if I, I I figured that was part of the question. I didn't know he he didn't specify yeah. realistic. Um, Obviously, I would like to get Dewey. Do we lingered on the podcast? That'd be freaking dope. But uh, <laughs> I think it'd be cool to get like a draft, a high. T- how about this Anthony one? It'd be Richardson. really cool to get at e underscore Dilla on the pod. That'd be fun. Clip that. Just saying. Go ahead, clip it, post it. It'd be fun. All right, all right, all right. Uh, but yeah, that's the only question. I mean, like I got to Trevor Lawrence would be cool, but it'd also be cool to get like a high level draft prospect like Anthony Richardson because I'm a Gators fan too, but I'm just giving him as an example. So it'd be cool to get any of those. Uh, Outside of football players, like media-wise, I don't know. I don't really care. J.P. Shadrick? That'd be fun. (laughs) That would be. He seems like a fun guy. Tony Baselli, bro. Hall of Famer Tony Baselli? No, Pete Prisco. Yo, Pete Prisco would be elite, but there's zero chance he's coming on this podcast. Pete Prisco will literally air us. I'm going to do that. I'm going to start today. Tonight, I'm gonna at Pete Prisco. I'm gonna go day one of asking Pete Prisco to come on our pod, come on my podcast. I'm gonna do it every day until he gets tired of seeing my ads. He'll probably just block me, which will be unfortunate because I like seeing his tweets, though. Yeah, I mean that that would be funny, though. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the podcast. We'll be back <clears throat> next week. Uh, Lord willing, the creek don't rise. Uh, either way, <laughs> it's crazy. I I was trying to think of the whitest phrase I could have said. That was literally the goal. <laughs> you succeeded. <laughs> All right, you guys, you guys. It's like I I purposely do that because I know there's like certain white phrases. So cert- at certain points, I will purposely say the whitest phrase possibly. Like I said, mm-hmm. hold your horses one time. <laughs> right, hold your horse. <laughs> Any- <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys next week uh, when their final rosters come out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.